familiar with that. So you got to be a post player, man. You got to you got to know the up and down, yeah, okay. man. Okay. Well, that's, well, that's, well, oh, he's 7-0. Right? Oh, he's on 7 against that slippery eel. Yeah. Let's, let's go to Kevin McHale and explain the slippery eel. Well, I tell you what, why would you ask Steve Kerr about the slippery eel? <laughs> hey, the guy's a three-point specialist. The slippery eel is you fake him up over here, you come under his arm, shoot it under his arm, and flip it off the glass, Ooh. and yell slippery eel. I love the all-star break, man. This is what I'm talking about. It's the slippery. The slippery eel that gives the rookies a three-point lead. How about that? Here comes Jennings. We've got a game here with under four to play. And Wesley Matthews will take it down the baseline. And 14 on the shot clock. We've got a shove and a foul on the play. And we'll look right now at the upcoming national TV schedule. The D-League All-Star Game presented by Sono White. That is tomorrow on NBA TV, 5 o'clock Eastern. ESPN Wednesday, Thunder and Spurs, Clippers and the New Orleans Hornets, and then Sunday, Lakers and the Thunder. So here is Wesley Matthews at the free throw line, a second-year player out of Marquette who was undrafted. He was picked up by Utah when he started in the Summer League. He is the product of a mom who is an All-American runner and a basketball player. And, of course, his dad, Wes, played in the NBA for about eight seasons. That's right. And uh, I was talking uh, to my colleague again, Kevin McKellar. I asked him, what was Big Wes like? He said he'd run you. He'd run right through you. He was a tough player. He played at a high speed all the time. And you could tell his son got some of those good basketball genes because he's doing a great job on the court. And he, he grew up, uh, the, the Wes Jr., he grew up in Madison but chose Marquette and Wes senior he went to the University of Wisconsin he was a Badger it was a big deal he was the Wisconsin high school player of the year yeah I was gonna say a lot of wrinkle feelings in that one yeah. you, want, you want him to go there but I tell you I know everybody's happy because he's a, a good young man and very successful on this court you were saying you thought now that the screws would be tightened just a little bit we've got a one-point game we've got three yeah. and a half to play. Yeah, I mean, watch it. You're going to see right now, Jennings Wall, those guys, Curry, they're going to start doing it. They've been giving the ball up, but they're going to start going. Cousins, I think he's trying to go for a little MVP action. The defense is about to happen. And Blair providing it right there and gets the ball back. The lightning quick. Brandon Jennings with the Milwaukee Bucks. A three by Harden. And there's a nice rebound by Cousins. The fans here would love to see Blake get back in. I don't think Griffin knows me put back in the contest. Neil with a floater inside. Beautiful shot by Neil. Nice floater, and I agree with you. I don't think uh, the big fella, Blake Griffin, is going to get back in the game. He's a little stiff. He played earlier. Uh, no need to risk injury unless it gets too close. You never know. Well, let's talk to his coach. I wonder if the coach is going to put him back. Kevin, he's going to put in uh, Blake Griffin as we see a three by Matthews, and Fields comes up with a Kevin. going to put back in Griffin. He's doing the Steve Kurtz here. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't want to make the tough decision. He's, he's given us he the can't Heisman. handle the tough decision. He's given us the Heisman. <laughs> Neil, another floor wow. inside by no, Gary he, Neal. He, he's, he's, he's at his minutes limit. He's done, huh? He's, he's finished. Done. I tell you what, I'll give you the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, is he going on the Yao Ming uh, Rick yeah. Adelman theory yeah, of 24 yeah, no minutes? Question. Question. Okay. There's no question. Okay. That's it. Hey, when they were chatting, we want Blake. I was chatting with them. <laughs> <laughs> we want play. We want play. <laughs> By the way, Wall has 21 assists. That is a record for this game. They're getting out. I don't think Griffin's coming back in. Steve Kerr, you got to be happy about that. No more Blake Griffin, huh? Wall. Attack the basket. Let's go. Blair, and here comes Jennings. Curry. Jennings for three. And Wall is right there. So two to play. The rookies won last season with a huge night from both Blair and Durant. And a quick foul there on Dewan Blair, who's been terrific. That's it. No, no, no more playing. That's it. Well, that's the way the Spurs conduct business, man. When they say it, it's over. I that's was going to say, he had to make sure he told Blake emphatically, just in case Blake tried to just put on his uh, sweats and get back in the game. He said, no way, I'm not letting you back in. Hope you had fun on your first day of all. <laughs> Cousins. Cousins at the line. Now remember, you can still cast your vote for tonight's T-Mobile Rookie Challenge and Youth Jam MVP. Text the last name of your choice to 38657 from any wireless phone or vote online. At NBA.com, voting will be open through the end of the game. And we've got some hard decisions. If yes. you like guys that sit people up and get them to the rack, Wall's your guy.
Cousins, he's got 29 points and 12 rebounds. He's been terrific. Representing the Kings for the rookies and a good move inside by James Harden, who's Great. had his moments tonight. That's right, the West is coming back. And if you look at it, if the West wins, you have to look at Blair as a serious candidate for that too. So winning will definitely uh, be an account for those who win. But is this another assist for Walt? Oh, yes it is. Can we have co-MVPs tonight, or is that a cop -out? Sure, No, no, we can do can, that. Oh. We can pretty much do anything we want. We can do it, okay. Do 22 it, do assists it, yeah. right now. You don't want to give any guidance to our viewers, do you? No, oh, no, no, no. I was asking you to help me <laughs> pick mine. I forgot we were on TV. <laughs> I know. I know you were. <laughs> oh. I don't want the pressure. Neil for three. Got his own miss for two. Good. Neil has been strong late in the game for the rookies. It seems like he only wants to make a shot off of one leg while he's floating backwards. He loves the little floater. Jennings with the triple. Fields comes up with it. How about the rookies? They're going to win maybe for a second consecutive year. Johnson for three. Blair comes up with it and Harden at the other end with no D, but you got to put up the triple. Wow. Harden does that. Does he have 30 points? Harden with 30. Cousins with 31. And those are the top two scorers in the game. Wow. It gets good. And I don't know why Kevin Durant is on the front row like this is a game. I know he and Harden are teammates, but I don't need to see them giving each other five and encouraging each other. That's, that's who he's talking to. Harden right now is listening to his man, I think. Kevin Durant is trying to get him to go for the MVP, so you love seeing teammates work together to all stuff. What about those whiskers? Oh, man. What well, about those hardly whiskers? <laughs> well, he and Baron Davis, I think, have the fullest beards I've ever seen. I see those guys out, and I think he's Baron and Baron's him. How about Deshaun Stevenson's beard for a while? Wow. That scary. thing was just oh, scary. That, oh, it was not scary. human. Yes. It was not human. That is scary. How about Chris Anderson's hair? This is all-star break. Let's talk about everybody. How about Chris <laughs> Anderson? He's starting to look like a real bird. <laughs> 22 assists is Magic Johnson's record. And here comes Cousins, who's up high and down hard with 33 and a 20-second timeout taken. Wow. And the sophomores are down, and the rookies are celebrating with Amari Stoudemire cheering on his teammate Landry Fields and the rest of the rookies here in Los Angeles on TNT. Coming up next here from Los Angeles in the Staples Center inside the NBA presented by Hyundai. Ernie, Kenny, Charles giving their thoughts on tonight's rookie challenge. Oh, a big time Big time shot right there. We'll look ahead to the rest of the All-Star Weekend coming up on inside the NBA. Curry now with 13. His stroke is terrific. I mean, what a great, I mean, like his dad, right? yeah. like his dad, Dell, um, who had that great, great yes. throw, and, and he's just in that same mold. I mean, you know, it's just great to see. It's great to see because, you know, he earned his shot. Just because your father could shoot and is one of the best shooters doesn't mean you automatically get that. I don't know if that's in the DNA, but I know his father explained it to him, and I love the way he's worked with it. It's I just agree. really fun. You know what else? I love the NBA TV commercial. When he's the ball boy, have you seen that? Isn't that terrific? Oh, my God. Those are the that's best real stuff. I've ever. I mean, oh. Sometimes it's made up, but that was real. But isn't it amazing? And, and, and on these days, you look back to those times when I was just shooting around and those type of things. I was a ball boy, and look, I'm here today. Great moment for me. By the way, as we all know, Seth's brother's at Duke, and uh, or Steph's brother's at uh, Duke, Seth Curry, Steph and Seth. And Kevin McHale, we got about a half minute to play here. It looks like, it looks like 8-0 over Steve Kerr. Yeah, I, I, the famous line of Chick Hearns, the eggs are cooling and the jello's jiggling. This one's over, baby. Put it in the refrigerator. Cousins will put an explanation mark on the pass to Wardlow. Hang it high. Swinging from side to side. I guess he said, I'm going to return the favor. You've given out 22 assists. Let me do the little, let me do the hard work for you. Oh, and a dejected Steve Kerr watching another miss. But Steve, what? Where do you stand? Five rebounds. Sometimes somebody just has your number. Yeah, that's right. It's just a matchup problem. <laughs> nice job, Steve. And here we go with the Dougie. <laughs> Where is it? Did he do it? He's doing it. They're doing a bunch of stuff out there, having a great time. Well, we got a little loose tonight, but it's fun to get kind of get warmed up for the rest of the weekend. Huh? Yeah, definitely. I mean, what is it but not to get loose? I mean, it's fun. This it's is a rookie kind of sophomore game. game. Hey, have a great time. Yeah, he did do the Dougie, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs>
<laughs> and Kevin just coached his man to do the Dougie yeah. for me. We're having a That's good coaching. That's, That's coaching. That's coaching. You can coach him to dance and play? Exactly. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. There's our final yeah. rookies win for a second consecutive season. Stay tuned for the T-Mobile Rookie Challenge and Youth Jam MVP Award presentation. 148-140 yeah. was the final. Cousins with 33 points. Wall with 22 assists. We'll be right back. Now, fans, please direct your attention to center court and welcome TNT's Craig Sager for the T-Mobile Rookie Challenge and Youth Jam MVP Trophy presentation. And joining me at center court, the T-Mobile All-Stars. These are representatives of the more than 4,000 youngsters from the Los Angeles area here tonight being rewarded for the outstanding academic and community service achievement. Congratulations, T-Mobile All-Stars. And to make our presentation to tonight's MVP, Cole Broadman, who is the Chief Marketing Officer for T-Mobile USA. Cole. All right, John, congratulations from the NBA, TNT, and T-Mobile. Congratulations, MVP, rookie game this year. Thank you so much. Great job. A T-Mobile rookie challenge record 22 assists. No practice time. You guys seem to click. A more experienced sophomore team. What made things work so well for you guys tonight? Oh, it was so easy. Oh, we just wanted to get out, and uh, Coach told us to run a couple plays, but, you know, you know, our team was uh, pushed the ball, and uh, we did a great job of finishing. You certainly could have shared this award with DeMarcus Cousins, your former Kentucky teammate. It's been well documented. He's not always happy when his teammates don't get him the ball. Obviously, you got him the ball tonight. How did you guys work it out? Was this planned? I know it was easy. Uh, he always told me he wished he was playing with me more, so I knew he could finish, so I was looking for him. He can finish, but he also gave back the reward to you with a terrific pass and great assist from DeMarcus. What was that like? It was great. I told him, uh, he, he, I knew I seen him ahead, and I uh, told him to throw out the backboard so I can get a dunk. Well, here's your MVP, John Wall from the Washington Wizards. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Craig, thank you very much. Hey, Chris Weber, a fun night here in Los Angeles. The kids, by virtue of their great work and all the, all the things they do with their schools, earn the chance to get free tickets tonight and get some nice swag. It's a pretty good night for everybody. They deserve it. They're an encouragement to everybody in their communities. Hopefully the kids will see their example, and they'll be in Orlando next year. But it's fun seeing these kids out here. Great by T-Mobile doing it. Had a great time today. It was, and we saw some nice uh, future stars out here, if not current stars in the NBA right now That's on the, the floor. Best part about it. You know how you have that rookie card, and you got that player, and you have it 20 years later? Well, today you can say, I saw John Wall win. I saw Cousins win. I saw these guys win. They were rookies, and who knows what happened. I enjoyed every second. Great work. We love working with you, baby. All thank right, you. you got it. That's Chris Weber. I want to thank also uh, our two coaches who joined us tonight, Kevin McHale and Steve Kerr. Our producer tonight was Scott Cochran and our director, Bernardo Lowe. Our associate directors, Bert Bondi, David Olshansky, Jeff Greenholz, our production assistants, Jeff Paris, and Celine Sobert. Special thanks to our statistician, Marty Naranoff, who once again is in the All-Star Game with TNT. Vice President of Production, Howard Zolkowitz. Executive Producer, Senior Vice President, Jeff Benke. Executive Vice President, COO, Lenny Daniels. The President of Turner Sports, David Levy. For all of us here, thank you for joining us. We'll take a break. Coming up next, Inside the NBA, right here on TNT.